Hi, in this tutorial it's time for something more advanced and interesting. I'll show you how to replace faces and I'm going to take the face of this guy, put it on this guy and uh, this will be the final result. Those of you who are new to my tutorials, subscribe, also visit the channel, watch the beginner's guide playlist if you're a beginner to learn the basics and I also make other tutorials on GIMP like this one where you can pick up additional tricks and learn more about GIMP and by the way watch the entire video because at the end I'm going to give you some tips and directions when you're doing something like this with your images so let's get started here I open this image and then I opened this one as a layer and I'll need to scale this one down use the scale tool click click on this chain to keep the aspect ratio and I'm going to type in a number I have already tested what kind of width and height will work for me and uh, now I'm going to position this reduce the opacity of the layer so I can see what I'm doing again I have experimented and I know where I need to position this I'm also going to show you how you can do this later, how you can position the face and scale it later. Let's change the opacity to 100 once again and I'm going to add a layer mask here. Use the defaults, then I'll click on the layer and the free select tool I'm going to make a rough selection then control I to invert the selection then I'm going to select the layer mask and I'll fill with the foreground color control shift A to deselect now with the brush tool increase the size and I'll start paint over to remove the parts of the face that I won't need here this image is not perfect because his hair is too close to his eye and eyebrow on the right but we'll still make it work now the next thing I'll do is go to filters blur Gaussian blur and I'll type in 200 click OK and you see because of the hair is too close we have some problem on the right so with the brush tool I'm going to reduce the opacity here increase the size more and carefully paint here now the most difficult part when you do something like this is matching the skin tone and we're gonna do this in a moment now I'm going to duplicate this layer and shift click on this one to make only this one visible select the color picker I'm going to pick a color from this guy face and I'll make sure I have selected the layer and I'll pick a color then I'll shift click again to make all the layers visible and select this top layer and I'll fill with the foreground color. Next thing I'll do is go and change the layer mode to soft light. And I'm going to duplicate this and reduce the opacity to 40. Now the next thing I'll do is select this layer and with the eraser tool I'm going to reduce the opacity first to let's say 60 and also I'll need to decrease the size of the brush I'm going to paint over the eyes to uncover their color I'm 
Und jetzt zoomen. And start painting. Now let's select the top layer and again continue painting. I'm going to move to the lips and I'm going to select this layer again and just once here I'm going to go over the lips, not too much. Now here in the eyes we have too much red because they were shadows so I'm going to increase the size here and use the opacity to let's say 40 I'm going to click just once and drag like this on both eyes to kind of make the color look better and then I'm going to make this and let's show you how you can move this click on these chains and then you can move the face if you want to need to position it better also you can scale it if you need to now let's uh, make this layer invisible right click and merge visible layers make this one visible again and uh, go to the eraser tool reduce the opacity and start painting I'm also going to layer, layer to image size to remove the layer boundary to make it fit the image. And I'm just painting carefully. It looks pretty good. It's a pretty satisfying result. It can be a little bit better if I go back and mess around a little bit more, but I'm not going to do that. I just want to tell you a few things that can be useful when you do something like this. When you're resizing and positioning, just make sure that when you see the face, it kind of feels natural. So resize position until you think it looks good. So I'm pretty much done here. Now another thing, you see now I can move it if I want to position it better. Also, when you're applying the blur here, know that the number of the blur radius here, it's, it increases when you have a bigger image. So if you have a bigger image, apply more blur radius. Also, the color that you pick here, you may need to pick different colors until you see which one works best. Maybe you can adjust it a little bit to get the best result. Like I said, until you think that it looks good. Also layer modes here, you may need to just one layer on soft light. You may even use another mode. Also the opacity of the layer. All that you need to experiment with until you get the results that satisfy you.